I'm Vanessa Ruck, the girl on a bike, and I'm here at the Land Rover Experience Center in East Noor. Now this is the place to come and learn about off-road riding in the Land Rover range. Now I'm here with part of the Bowler program because you typically see me as more of a motorcycle off-road rider and racer, but there's a huge amount of similarity. When anything has an engine and wheels, I'm gonna get excited. So I'm working with Bowler to get myself into the UK Rally Series in their Bowler Defender 110. And the first part of actually being able to do that safely is learning about what the base model Defender is capable of doing. And that is exactly why I'm here at the Land Rover Experience Center. So it's time to learn about the car and get riding. Ah, oh, driving, I'm a motorcycle rider. <laughs> a little bit expanded. We've been in the classroom for a good hour and a half. Now learning to ride an off-road vehicle effectively, I say ride, I'm clearly a motorcycle rider. Learning to drive an off-road car effectively is way more than just the practicalities of getting in it. There's a lot of technology in a car that is going to be doing a huge amount of work underneath the bonnet, the wheels, the diff, the traction control, and learning how all of that stuff works is really fundamental to the next step of actually getting in the car. Now, the Defender has so much technology to effectively make it the safest vehicle possible to get through the terrain. We are obviously gonna be going into bowler mode, which is gonna be turning all of that stuff off, but in order for me to really understand how that car's capability is, I need to understand what's going on under that bonnet. And that is exactly what we've just gone through. So my brain is just like, with all the kind of information. We're gonna have a quick toilet break and then we're gonna start looking at the actual car. <laughs> Trigger, seatbelts on, engage Good. the drive. Okay, That's so silly. lining the rear gills, rear. Oh, this is terrifying. I'm not going to lie. And you go insane. a bit of speed. <laughs> Whoa, insane. actually, it's less terrifying it's than being insane. in the back. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down, that's it. Perfect. Speed. Yeah. Excellent. Stop. Okay, so. That was a lot less terrifying than being in the back. Yeah. Well, you knew that's, it was coming as well. Well, yeah, but I'm just going to trust it. I'm not going to go backwards. Trust me, it's fine. Oh, just yeah. Beautiful. Come around to the left. Okay. That's good, a bit more left. That's good. And yeah, this is all about a little bit of brake as we start to go over. So yeah, just ready to touch a bit of brake now. So go to the brake. That's good. And feel it over. A little bit of brake, slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> and now just go forward a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Literally done about 15 minutes of driving and already I am blown away by what this car can do. We just went round the kind of skate park area of their experience test and at one point we were on two wheels like teetering over and you could feel the car like tip down and I was higher than the passenger. So intense but the car was just like whatever. I know what I'm doing and you kind of just needed to trust all of the engineering that has gone into making the Defender 10 what it is now. But that was just the tip of the iceberg of what we're going to be doing today. So we're stopping now for some lunch. I cannot wait to get into a bowler as well. I mean, it's mind blowing. Woo! We're in a castle! <laughs> those holes so not too fast through the hole. <laughs> oh, you are a beast! 
<laughs> wow. You are, because you weren't meant to get up there. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 ah, amazing. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Just the right speed. What a day, a muddy car, how it should be. So we've done all kinds of training in the Defender and it's incredible what the base model from Land Rover can do from deep puddles to ruts to hill climbs to the angulation where wheels are in the air. Today has been absolutely incredible. The next step for me is of course getting into the Bowler rally car which is based on the beast that is here. I'm kind of blown away by how capable the car is and I'm looking forward to the next steps.